Okay, so hey y'all, we're doing a just regular maintenance oil change on the 2013 Buick LaCrosse, and everything was looking good until I opened the hood, and I saw this. I don't know if you can see that very well. It kind of looks like a fiberglass, like a insulation from maybe I ran over something or whatever. Then I looked, you can see right here, maybe, here, let me get you closer. All right, so here's, here's all that. That's all up on the hood. And I saw this little piece, I saw this little piece somewhere around here. I think it's kind of tucked into here. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I found it somewhere out of the way. Knew immediately what that was. Obviously, that's the belt. You can see right there. Part of that belt is shredded. Okay, now this is the serpentine belt. Um, on most cars, it will run your alternator, your power steering pump, your AC compressor, and just a whole bunch of different stuff. Well, on this car, it this is the electric motor. And this is a hybrid, in case you didn't know. It's a um, four-cylinder, 2.4 liter. The way it works is your four-cylinder runs like, like normal, right? Then you pull up to a stop sign, stop light, whatever even if you're stuck in traffic very long it turns the motor off and it runs off of the battery that's in the back uh, runs your AC it runs your everything you don't even know it's off and then as soon as you let off the brake um, this motor kicks in it starts the engine and it's it's flawless like there's there's you can hardly tell that your engine was turned off uh, the other thing that this does is if you're on the highway and you're entering onto a, a an entrance ramp or whatever and you need to kick it up a couple notches well this acts like a little boost it's uh, I think it's rated for 110 horsepower or something like that but um, so it gives you a little extra boost and also going down the highway if you're going up a hill instead of it downshifting and your rpms going up this will kick in so you get better fuel economy <clears throat> works pretty good but as you can see that's a the belt is uh, 32 dollars uh, pretty much everywhere autozone had it for 29 dollars they couldn't get it until next Tuesday. I need this today. O'Reilly's have it, has it for $32. They're going to do a price match. And um, I should get it here this afternoon. So we're going to do finish doing the oil change and see what it takes to get this off. Now, I know this is going to be um, extra stiff because... There's so much torque. It's got to push a hundred. It's, it's got 110 horsepower coming from this belt. So I'm pretty sure I got. I got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> but um, but the belt itself looks fairly easy to put on. Uh, I might remove some of this stuff. I might go down below and there's a little plastic panel that I can take off. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. And all right, enough yapping. Let's get to work. And since I'm doing an oil change, we can go ahead and go over this <clears throat> 15 millimeter bolt for the drain plug. See, 15. And that's it. It's right there. Oil pan, drain plug. So, ready? Oh, and this might be the little plastic piece I got to take down to get to the uh, 
um, to the belt. Now, top side. This is another one of those cartridge filters that I freaking hate, but it's a one and a quarter inch massive I guess bolt or whatever and it's a pain in the butt to get to but that's where it is well this is one of those little tips tricks whatever that I do those are just a couple small neodymium magnets that I put on there that helps collect any of the any of the metal shavings or whatever there wasn't a whole lot that was on there, so that's good. I'm just going to put this back in, and then we'll work on getting the oil filter out. Okay, and then as usual, I just have a little bit of oil that I put in there. And all that's going to do is help flush out. It's just going to help flush out, see how it gets clear. That's what we want. Okay, so got the, the oil filter out. Okay, so I went with the Fram Extra Guard, and I normally don't like Fram, but this one seemed pretty decent. Has pretty good uh, drain back. Um, drain back openings. Um, the pleats are alright. I like this one because it has more pleats. Let's see. See this one kind of has one, two, two drain back and then the bottom is all solid. So I didn't like that part of it. And that one has a whole bunch of them for drain back. But good thing about these cartridge filters is that you can throw them in the trash. Now, put your new one on. Just like that. Um, there's a little oil seal or there's a little o-ring right here. And then just I'm gonna lube that up. Comes with a new, new o ring. And this one looks fine. So I'm not going to change it. And I'll just put this in the, my oil filter stash. So let's go put this back on. And just put this back on. And this does not have to be tight. Well, very tight. I go hand tight. And that's all the tightness you need. I mean, if it makes you feel better, you can come over here and do that. But that's all you need. You don't need it. Just extremely, extremely tight. You don't have to take the air filter off. You can squeeze back up behind here. Put your hand in there and pull it out. If you do take that off, it's a flat head here and a flat head up here, and that whole thing pulls off. But I was thinking I needed to remove it to get to get to all of this whenever we work on that. So um, I'm gonna put some oil in here, and we'll go from there. <laughs> 